How's it going everyone? My name is Common Ball Boy and today I have a bunch of mods to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first mod we have today guys is Stun Knife by MWarner77. Alright everyone, so to make the Stun Knife you're going to want to head over to a chemistry station. Go all the way down to Stun Knife and then just craft it. Alright, now let's take a look at this thing. Stun knife. Alright, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna give you guys a quick turnaround on it. Looks like, uh, it's just a fucking knife. Okay, so I went to the workbench and decided to take a look at the attachments. And I'm pretty sure to get the stun effect, you're gonna have to put on the stealth stun blade. But that's just me guessing right now. Alright, let's see. R4, you gonna get stunned? You gonna get stunned this time? Oh. <laughs> Let's do it again. Come on. This is a pretty fast fucking knife. Oh man, this is awesome. Oh shit. So, I mean, it doesn't happen right away, but like, the attack speed for this knife is really fast, so it just takes about like three or one, or the first one fucking does it. <laughs> Will it do to my robot? Do robots, are, are they affected? Okay, robots don't are not affected. <laughs> this is awesome knife. Come on, R4, one more time. One more time. One more time. R4. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next mod. Up next we have 10mm carbine by West Coast Grudge86. And this is basically the 10mm pistol turned into a rifle. Alright everyone, so the 10mm carbine is going to be on the bodies of raiders, gunners, uh, it's going to be added to vendors lists, along with uh, random loot drops inside of just random chests and stuff, but this is what it looks like, it is, uh, seems like it's a pretty solid gun. Here, let me give you guys a quick turnaround on it, looks pretty nice to me. I actually really do like the way this looks. So this thing has a bunch of attachments you could add to it. As you can see, I added an alien scope and a little skull thing to the back with a little bayonet. Oh god, <laughs> she passed out. Oh shit. So um, yeah, I don't really see this being viable for super, super late game, but it is a, a solid gun altogether. Next we have Galaxy News Radio, fully voiced and very immersive new radio station, PC edition by Jalen PE. And basically the concept behind this mod is that 3Dog, the radio DJ from Fallout 3, gave this guy the opportunity to head to the Commonwealth and spread the love of Galaxy News Radio. Alright, so let's take a look at Galaxy News Radio. Alright, let's go down, turn that shit on. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I'll, um, I'll show you guys when, uh, when the DJ starts talking. Okay, so I think he's gonna talk now. Here, Cerberus. Um, me. With news. Shin, what have I told you about keeping the lake? You gonna talk? Uh. Got some sad news for you. Okay. As some of you may know, someone was seen leaving Vault 111 a while ago in an effort to see what was down there. We sent people to investigate, and what we found down there was brutal. We know that vault -Tec did experiments on people, but apparently they froze everyone in that vault up. I'm guessing there was some sort of malfunction, as no one else seems to have made it out. It's a mystery why the vault dweller got away, but he was the sole survivor. Don't worry, there's more news. <laughs> Is there going to be more news? Okay, so apparently this, uh, this radio station... I've been hearing some oh. wacky rumors okay. about some weird aircraft sightings. These unidentified flying objects are reportedly extremely quick, and most witnesses could not accurately describe the thing. But one of the vague descriptions I heard sent a chill down my spine. It matched descriptions I heard in the Capital Wasteland by witnesses of similar events. If you believe the witnesses, 
aliens are behind it all. Before the war, we already knew they existed, but it seems that they never left us. Scary thought, no? Okay, so apparently this radio station has the music from Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and it also adds Hello the Hello everybody, uh, this Magnolia is Cerberus, songs. and you are listening to GNR. That is Galaxy News Radio, just okay. in case you didn't know. Yeah. I'm a man. Maybe even a mighty man, but Roy Brown is the only mighty, mighty man. Right here. All right. Nope, 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 no, no, no music. Nope, no music. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there's Galaxy News Radio, and let's move on to the next mod, shall we? Up next, we have Batters Up by Dragon10121, and this is going to change a lot of things in Diamond City, like add new security dogs, robots, and female guards, along with some new vendors, and uh, we'll be able to offer you some new resources. All right, so to make your magnums gold, you're going to want to head over to a weapon bench. Go over to whatever magnum you have, head over to the receiver, and then go all the way down to gold. Oh, cool. So it adds 75% more damage, 25% fire rate, uh, 25... Oh, minus 25% reload time, and it's golden. Okay. Huh. Oh, looks like you have to make it gold on the barrel, too. Okay. So then it's... Plus five times min range, nine times max range, minus 10 sight spread, minus 25 min spread, minus 10 recoil, minus 10 bats costs, minus 3% sight time, and it's gold. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Alright, so let's take a look at it. Alright, so here we have the barrel bull. Advanced 44, that is solid gold. So apparently this gun shoots no, a bit faster than others. Um, yeah, I don't really see it, but, you know, if you need something to compensate some other things, this is probably a good thing to download. Alright, let's move on to the next mod, shall we? Up next we have Fusion Gun by Fallout Suite, and this is a brand new energy weapon. Alright everyone, so to get the fusion gun, you're going to want to head over to University Point, and uh, we need to find Hegwood's Hall, or Sigwood's Hall, something like that. Uh, Attacking enemy. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this it? It's a holotape. I don't, I think that's vanilla. I think we need to go in here. Stop it. Stop it, I just want to find a gun. Okay, so it's in here. Oh, shit. This is one big-ass building. Alright, well, fuck. The, uh, the searching begins now. Ow, you asshole. Ow. Oh, do you have the gun? I think you have the gun. Oh, your fucking head exploded. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so... Yeah, he had the gun. Awesome. That actually looks really fucking cool. Holy shit. Alright, so it's on the rogue courser. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so I think you have to craft a special ammo for this gun. So, uh, let's head back to uh, the home plate and we can craft some ammo. Alright, so let's head over to the chemistry station and make some of this nice little ammo for this gun. Alright, so utility, all the way down. Alright, so we got fusion cartridges. Make a few of these. And then, uh, a 
god, is that all I can make? It's just fusion cartridges? Nope. Okay, so we got the the CP. Uh, oh god. Okay, I think these are part of a different mod. Alright, so we need to make fusion cartridges. Okay. Alright, let's see what kind of upgrades this gun has. Here with the weapon bench. Nope, that's the wrong gun. Alright, so we got the overcharged automatic. I need the nuclear physicist for that. We have uh, exposed barrel, closed barrel, exposed barrel. Okay. Oh, rifle stock. Okay. All right, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Iron sights. We got a uh, glow sight, medium scope, reflex sight. What the fuck is that? That looks so weird. <laughs> um, let's just go with the glow sight for right now. Uh, closed muzzle. We can have an exposed muzzle or a ultravioleted suppressor. Hmm. Uh, let's go with the closed muzzle. All right, that looks pretty fucking nice to me. Holy shit! Oh, wrong gun. All right, take a look at this. It's fucking nice. Holy shit. So it loads like a fucking laser rifle, but... <laughs> this is awesome. I like this. Alright, let me give you guys a quick turnaround on the gun. That looks really nice. I like the, uh... The shininess of it, but it also feels like it's a bit worn out at the same time. R4, you like this? You like it when I do this? No, you don't. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like I'm going to be keeping this gun for a little bit. I like the way it sounds and the way it fires and stuff. So, um, let's move on to the next mod, shall we? Alright, so this is a pretty cool one. It is called Shoot It In The Head, Carl! Durable Ghouls by Trenson6886. And this basically makes it harder for you to kill ghouls by shooting their torso and arms and legs and such but like the main way to kill them is now to shoot them in the head just like zombies all right so we are in college square and this place is infested with ghouls let's see if this headshot thing works i'm gonna shoot him in the leg see how much damage that does okay so body shots do less i fucking missed okay body shots do less headshots are supposed to be like Mega super damage. Missed. Missed. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can insta kill someone with this. Nope. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh shit, that did a lot of damage actually. Nope, no more vats. Shut his arm off. Come on. Oh, Gary! Alright, well. There's that. So it doesn't make it like that you can't kill them with body shots because you obviously can. It just takes a lot more rounds, but uh, it makes it so that you kind of have to be a little bit more strategic with your fire, like uh, like this right here. Like just aim for headshots. Should be good. Or you could suck like me and fucking miss twice. God damn. There we go. Sweet. Got Time it. to die. Oh shit! <laughs> Gary. That did zero damage. Oh, goddamn. Um, uh, Gary! 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 It's okay, Gary. It's okay, Gary. Oh shit, you have fucking mega drug on you, don't you? You cheeky bastard. Alright, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Up next, we have Cargo Buddy by VX Crisis, and, uh,. This is a robot that can carry your shit. You're gonna need the Automatron DLC for this. All right, everyone. So Anything to get the cargo logic, bot, you're gonna want to head to a robot them. workbench. Thank a brand new Assaultron or <laughs> Automatron. Go over to torso, and then it's its own torso. What kind of sucks is you can't make arms for it. Um, you can only go for legs. So let's just give it like Tesla coils. What kind of fucking legs do we want to give him? Give him fucking <laughs> robo brain treads. All right, we'll give him fucking robo train, robo brain treads. Uh, and I don't think you can 
give him like a matching paint job so I think the closest thing would be like this dark no not the dark green oh shit we only get this oh okay no, never mind. uh this olive green seems pretty close okay and then uh yeah that's basically this it unit is remaining in factory default mode up next we have a player home known as trailer home by mr green 23 and this is going to be located right outside of sanctuary hills all right everyone so we are at red rocket and we're going to be checking out this uh trailer home it is literally right next to red rocket so that's pretty cool that's actually really cool like you can build a settlement in red rocket and that could be like just for settlers and then like you'd have your own personal home over here in this little trailer so uh let's take a look inside shall we that was actually really fucking cool how it opened like that and then you gotta get to go in okay so like get to hold your little ammo in there we got move lockers move lockers oh oh sweet that was pretty cool okay so then we got a weapon workbench we got a makeshift bed got a little junky kitchen over here so activate meat oh okay so i get to just shove shit in this fucking meat and we got a cooking station nuka cola chems junk components uh what do we got here red rocket travel oh oh these look like little teleports maybe not sure i'm pushing pushing a on them oh shit okay oh shit that's actually really fucking cool so you can move your trailer to either be inside Situation. of Sanctuary Hills Normal. or like Law right outside of Red Rocket. That is actually really fucking cool. I really do like that, how you can just move it between Red Rocket and Sanctuary. I can see this being a really good mod for like a brand new playthrough. That's awesome. That's the end of the video, guys. If you liked it, why don't you hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more mods in the future, and comment what mods you want to see me do in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video.